Okay, so this is the Greek God and Goddesses mini research project. So the first thing you're going to do is choose a Greek God or Goddess. And they're all listed here for you, uh, as well as just a short description of what they're known for. So every um, God and Goddess in Greek mythology has their own sort of arena that they are responsible for. So like Zeus down here, he's king of the gods, right? So he's sort of like the top king, the king of kings, right? Um, the god of gods, right? Um, and then there are all of these other sort of lesser gods. Um, Hera is Zeus's wife and... Um, there, some of these are their children, um, some are not. So just kind of pick what you'd like. Um, it really doesn't matter to me which one you want to do. There's plenty of information about all of them. Um, the next thing you're going to do is begin your research. So the information that you are going to find are these eight things, and this is a minimum. So you're welcome to add more information if you would like to. Um, but you can't use Wikipedia or personal blogs or any other unreliable sources for your information. You really want to look for sites that end in like .org or .edu or um, something like that. You know, they can end in .com, but just make sure that it's a reliable source and not just Wikipedia. Um, and you need to have at least three different sources. So ask for help if you need it. Um, I know that I'm not physically there right now, but I'm still available over email or Zoom. So you can still ask me for help. So what you need to include is the Greek gods um, or goddesses, Greek and Roman name. So a lot of times these um, cultures shared um, their mythology. So they would call a god or a goddess by one name in the Greek tradition and by a different name in the Roman tradition. For example, Cupid is a Roman name for, right, like, the god of love, right? That's like where we get the idea of Cupid at Valentine's Day, right? But in the Greek tradition, he was Eros. So same person, different name. And you want to include both of these because when we get to Shakespeare, he really uses a lot of the Roman names. So it'd be better to have a little bit of familiarity with them. Next, what does he or she control? So what are some special abilities or powers that they might have? The third question or the third thing to look at is um, specific weaknesses. So all of the gods and goddesses have certain areas of weakness. Uh, you want to have a story of their birth. You want to summarize a major myth associated with them. So when it says summarize, that means write more than a sentence, right? You need to like provide a brief summary of a myth that is associated with them. What happens in the myth? What's the problem? What's um, overcome? What's the moral? Okay, you want to summarize the myth. You want to have a picture or an image of them. So obviously this is ancient culture. There's not going to be like a photograph of them. But you can find a lot of pictures of sculptures that um, have been um, recovered by archaeologists um, or different um, artistic images of them. Their family tree. So this just basically means like who are they related to? So who are their parents or who are their siblings or who are their children? Just sort of what is their uh, relationship with other gods? And then any symbols that they are associated with. Finally, once you have gathered your research, you want to create your visual aid. So you're going to create a Google Slides presentation. It should have bullet point information. So I don't really need you to like list these big, long, elaborate descriptions, um, <clears throat> but you do want to provide enough information. Um, appropriate images that add to your information and a properly formatted MLA Works Cited slide at the end of your presentation. So there's a couple of options. You can make a copy of this template if you'd like, or you could create your own slideshow, but you have to make sure that you include the same slides so that you have the same information. So I'm just gonna pull open this um, slideshow. You make a copy of it. And you can edit this however you would like. So it has this, um, theme to it. If you don't like this theme and you want to change it, uh, you can do that right here where it says theme, right? So you could change it to whatever you want, or you can just leave it how it is. Totally up to you. Um, you want to include an image. Um, like I mentioned, you know, you can change the font. You can change everything that you want, okay? Um, so customize it as much as you want to. 
Okay, um, here is where you would put the image. Um, you can include other images throughout your slideshow as well, but you want to at least have one image on the front page of your slideshow. Okay, and then it just sort of breaks down all of the different um, categories of information that you need to have. And on the last page, there is a citation machine that will help you format your entries. So um, you can do that. I know this is the first time that we've really used MLA formatting, so I'm going to be pretty lenient on it, um, especially because I'm not there to help. So here's the um, rubric for you. That's what you'll be graded on, what information you have, your organization, your mechanics, and then your citations. Okay. So if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. I will be happy to help you and um, go ahead and have fun learning about a Greek god or goddess.